Hello folks, this is Jose with Sin CDS's Garage, video number three on how to rework your stock uh, engine harness out of your Impala, 9496 Impalas. Today we're going to talk about the uh, different sensors that got eliminated out of the harness, stuff that we didn't need on the harness anymore, and I'm going to show you what the four connectors that used to go to the PCM, what they look like now after all those wires have been removed and out of the way. Stuff that we didn't need got eliminated altogether. Um, so I'm going to show you how the harness looks now. And there's an another thing I wanted to show you. A few wires that are still in the connectors that we're going to be eliminating as they're no longer needed. Uh, connectors like power and grounds going to the PCM connectors uh, no longer needed. So we're going to go ahead and get those uh, eliminated. And I am going to be showing you that in a minute. So let me go ahead and flip the camera over and we'll go over them real quick. There we go. All right, this is the harness, how it looks now. Here's our connectors right here. Those are the connectors that used to go to the PCM, okay, which we're gonna be eliminating those connectors as well because we're not gonna need them. We're not gonna use them, <clears throat> okay? Here we have the connectors that used to go or there are gonna still go to our washer fluid okay for our uh, windshield washer so that is for our um, the water pump to the windshield washer and this is a signal to tell our gauge whether we're low on win uh, window washer uh, fluid or not all right so here we have the red connector a lot of these wires are going are going to stay they're going to be fed into the LS harness okay for instance this what looks to be yellow it's actually a white wire that is going to go, this is our tag signal right here, that, that is going to go into uh, the LS harness, it's going to get in, integrated somehow into the LS, LS harness for our tack uh, to work inside the, you know, inside the car in our cluster. Uh, some of these wires, for instance, right here, these two orange wires right here, this was power coming in to the PCM on the black connector that we're no longer needing, so we're going to go ahead and get those eliminated as well because we don't need those wires to be there no more. Uh, also right here in the blue connector, and you can see it right there, this pink wire right here, we're not gonna need this. I believe this was for our, our uh, change oil uh, light. We're, we no longer need that because the LSPCM doesn't have that function anymore. So that is gonna get eliminated. This tan wire right here, also in the blue connector, this is our serial data two wire Okay, that uh, was going to our uh, OBD2 port under the dash. That is no longer needed. The LSPCM does not use this to communicate. Okay, so that's going to get eliminated. Okay, we have VSS signal right here. We have the check engine light. We have the um, this purple wire. This could be their serial data. Okay, then we have over here on, on the clear connector, on the gray connector, as it's known as a gray or clear. Uh, we have the, uh, I believe this purple one should be our brake switch signal. Okay, so some of those are going to stay. Some of them are going to go. And at the end, we're going to end up with just only a handful of wires. Then I'm going to show you what to do with them. Okay, so as you can see, the wires, the engine harness, uh, got a lot thinner. There was a few wires, actually a whole bunch of wires that got eliminated. From here uh, all the transmission stuff is already gone as you can see there's no more transmission wires we don't need those because the new LS harness is going to go ahead and take over that and that's what's going to be controller our transmission uh, shift points and everything VSS and all that good stuff so we're going to get our signals from there these right here we talked about the other day this is our power antenna or cooling fans uh, this is all the grounds. This is what's left over on the ground. So we're gonna need that because we need to ground this harness. Right here we have our wiper uh, motor controls. Right here we're gonna need those. We're gonna keep those. And this is our uh, uh, hood light. So we're gonna keep that. Remember I was talking yesterday about the AES uh, module, okay? Uh, that is now gone. So we know I'm not running ABS system on this on this particular build, and these wires that are left here, 
One of them is the alternator plug and the other one is the AC plug. I'm actually going to be running AC on this car so I do need that plug to be able to turn on and off the AC compressor even though the PCM, the LSPCM is not going to be controlling the AC. I still need to power it. I still need to give it power and ground. And what we're going to do, we're going to run a binary switch to control the high pressure load on the AC compressor to shut it up on and off. Here on, the, on our under under hood fuse box all these wires right here see they all these wires right here they used to power some of the connectors some of those components okay so all these power wires right here they got eliminated uh, you may utilize these wires okay to power up uh, your LS harness if you want to keep on running your injectors okay you can do it off of this using some of these wires. All you need to do is just trace them and see where they go to. And you can easily use up the, uh, that wiring right there to control your, your, your fans, everything that you need to control. So that, if you can use it, that's, it's, that's there for you to use if you need to. Right here on our P100, all this wiring right here, okay, we have this uh, three little thin wires and these two thicker wires. That is part of the ABS system okay uh, since we're not going to use or I'm not going to use an ABS uh, system on this car that harness is going to get eliminated okay it's going to get eliminated from the equation right here what we're going to do or what I'm going to do right here I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires as close to the P100 as possible so they're not on anybody's way they're not going to harm anything because they're not going to have any signal uh, most of these wires run to the C204 connector, which is this one right here, okay? But uh, there's not going to be anything on this side, so nothing, nothing to worry about. You don't need to do anything to the C204 in this case, to the ABS, because it's not going to be used. All right, so there it is. I'll come back and continue the video once I get all those, all those wires uh, pulled out of those connectors. All right, folks, we, here we are working on the red connector. This is a C1 red connector, okay? And I'm going to show you the wires that we are going to keep and the wires that are going to get eliminated from this connector. These wires were not going to any of the connectors as far as engine controls. So in other words, they weren't going to a injector connector or any of that stuff. Uh, this, a lot of these go back into the car and some of them go to the underhood fuse box, okay? Some of them are gonna stay, some of them are gonna get eliminated. So let's let's start with, with the red one, with the red connector. This first wire right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a, a green, a dark green wire with the, with the white stripe. That's a pin number seven on the red connector. That pin number seven connector is our fuel pump relay control. We are not gonna need that one because our new harness or our standalone harness is gonna have all the fuel pump stuff integrated within. So we're not gonna use that. So that particular one going to pin seven is gonna get eliminated, okay? Then the next one over on pin number 10 is this blue one right here. I have my hand right here. This blue wire right here this is our secondary fan control that one we are going to keep we're going to feed this wire into our new uh, standalone harness okay to control our fan, secondary fan then on pin 11 that's our green wire right here that is our primary fan uh, control going to our relay so with that one we are going to keep as well we have to keep that one to make our primary fan work then right here on pin 13 that's our tag signal so that one we're going to keep that's what's going to what's going to feed uh tag signal to our tachometer inside the inside the car in, in our cluster so that wire is going to have to stay then right here pin 14 pin 14 is our air pump relay control so we're not going to use that one even though it, it wasn't going to any of the uh, connectors as far as engine controls it does go to the underhood uh, fuse box so that's going to get eliminated out of, out of here okay and lastly right here on pin 25 okay this blue wire right here is our uh, fuel enable signal that we're not going to need so that's going to get eliminated too
okay so this is on the red connector so all we're keeping realistically on this connector is the three wires the two cooling fans and the tag signal that's it so we'll move on to the next connector in a minute okay folks we're back this is our black connector to the PCM we have a few wires here that got eliminated these two orange wires right here got eliminated already just gotta pull them out of the pull them out of the connector okay so let's let's start with the wires that we have left here in this connector same thing as with the red one previously this wires didn't use to go to any of the engine controls connectors this this wires some of them go to the uh, to the underhood fuse box some of them go inside the car uh, some of them we, we don't no longer need so those those are gonna get eliminated altogether okay so let's let's start with this black connector this blue wire right here in cavity number one okay that wire is our AC request signal okay this blue wire we are gonna keep we're gonna feed that wire into our LS1 or LS PCM to tell the PCM to pick up the idle when we engage the AC so that is the only purpose of this wire this is gonna have a 12 volt power and it's gonna tell the PCM exactly when we request the AC for the PCM to pick up the idle a little bit okay so that's we need we need to keep that one and route it then we have this little green wire right here with the white line going through it that wire it's our VSS signal okay and I believe that is pin number eight in that connector so that wire we're gonna keep this is our VSS signal going inside the car so that one would have to stay Okay, that's connector number eight, pin number eight on this black connector. Then on pin number, I believe is 11, this is a, this brown wire, sorry, this brown wire right here on, uh, let me see, right in, seven, let's see, maybe, maybe giving you some false information here. I can't really read the numbers on that. Yep it is 11 see that that is 11 on this on this black connector this is a low oil lamp this wire is no longer needed we're gonna go ahead and get it eliminated because the LS1 PCM doesn't have the capability of telling us that so that wire is it's gonna get stripped it's gonna get eliminated and then this other green wire right here down below that is gonna be let's see if we can get a focus on that right there that is pin number 21 pin number 21 on that connector let me show you what the book says on pin 21 that's our AC clutch status which we're not we're not gonna need um, the PCM is really not doesn't really care uh, what our you know clutch status is anymore because the PCM is not gonna be controlling our AC no longer we're gonna control that manually with that with the binary switch okay so that wire can get completely eliminated out of here let's move on to the other connector we'll come back in a minute all right folks here we are again this is the gray connector to the PCM this connector has two wires left I don't know if you can see then let me see if the, this camera get, can get in focus or not right around here I don't know I don't think I'm gonna get it to, to focus right there but anyways those two wires a purple wire and an orange with a black stripe okay those wires connect to 14 and 15 14 the purple wires are brake switch okay we are keeping this and feeding it into our PCM our LS PCM this is our brake switch so the computer knows when we're applying the brake and when we're not applying the brake mainly for the torque converter to lock and unlock and release and whatnot so that's what that purple wire is. The other orange wire on pin number 15, this orangey right here, this um, is the signal for our for our power steering switch or some of some sort. We no longer need this orange wire. So this is gonna get eliminated since we don't have any place to put it. Even though it does run all the way inside the car, we have no need for this one. So this gets eliminated altogether out of here okay so 
Then the last one to talk about, I believe, is the blue connector, which is uh, <clears throat> connector C4. That is the, uh, the very last of the, of the connectors to talk about. So you can see right here, this tan wire right here that I went ahead and cut off of it, that is our serial data too, okay, the communication data wire that uh, runs all the way to our OBD2 connector under the dash. Since the LSPCM does not communicate through this wire, we no longer need it and that is going to get eliminated as well. Okay, we no, we no longer need the data to wire. This other one that got eliminated here, this kind of pinkish color, reddish color wire, um, that will be on cavity number 16 on the blue connector. That's it was for a change oil lamp. Well, the LSPCM doesn't have a provision for that, so that wire gets eliminated as well. So, you know, I'm sure you, you'll keep an eye on your engine, uh, engine's oil to see when it's due for a change or not, okay? This purple wire right here on this connector, this purple wire right here, let's see if we can figure out where it goes, what pin number that is. Uh, I can't tell. Seems to be, I don't know, seven, pin number seven, okay? That purple wire is our serial data connector. That is the one that's gonna take over all the communication between the OBD2 port under the dash and the LSPCM. So that wire is critical. We need to keep that one in place. We definitely need it. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it intact as it is, okay? We're just gonna remove it out of here we're going to leave it intact. We do need this wire. That is going to, this is our communication port right here. Pin number eight is this green and white wire. That's a dark green. That's our AC clutch control, which we can't control our AC anymore with the PCM. So that is going to go. Pin number eight needs to go. <clears throat> We're no longer controlling the AC with the PCM. Okay. So that's going to go. Then pin number nine. Okay, see that right there? Pin number nine on the blue connector, that is our check engine light. And that one we need to keep. We're gonna go ahead and keep this wire because we need to integrate it with our LS harness for, your, for our check engine light to work, okay? So that is pretty much it. Those are the wires within the four connectors that we're gonna be keeping. Um, the rest of them, as I mentioned, they're gonna get eliminated, so as you can tell, there's not that many wires that we're keeping that need to integrate with our LS harness. Um, just a handful of them, so it makes this swap very, very easy, very simple, as there's a, a very minimal amount of, of wires that get integrated. So this is video number three. Hopefully you enjoy and hopefully you can use some of this information. Okay, we're going to keep on working on this harness to try to clean it up a little bit more, try to wrap it and loom it, make it as pretty as we can, and leave it ready for when our LS engine harness comes in, we'll integrate whatever we need to, all those uh, signal wires and whatnot, and we'll go ahead and uh, talk about it when the time comes. All right? Thank you. Bye.